right, Play Pals, thank you so much for clicking on this video. And if you're new to our channel, click that red subscribe button, ring that notification bell so you get updates anytime we upload new videos. Today, guys, we are doing another LL Surprise OMG style video where I'm showing you guys some of the cool styles that I've created with my LOL Surprise dolls and I am just going to get right to it. But before we get started, I want to thank all of my awesome subscribers, old and new. I appreciate you guys watching my videos, commenting down below, sharing these videos. Also, some of you have hopped on over to Pinterest and started following me there as well as Instagram. So I really, really appreciate all of the love and the support. So shout out to you guys. Thanks for all that you do. So guys, without any further delay, let's go ahead and check out these looks. So the first girl that we have right here, guys, is Neonlicious. You probably don't even recognize her. I gave her some pigtails, guys. And this little hat that she has on is actually a hat, a hat that we got from one of the Na Na Surprise. I actually took it off my Na 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 Surprise doll and I put it on her. And then I kind of blinged it out a little bit. Bling it. Everything is better with a little more bling. So I did that and I kind of gave her a bling right here. But the interesting thing about this, guys, is I actually made this from a glove. I made it from a glove. And right there are the shoes that she has on their Crystal Star shoes. But I think this outfit looks really cute on Neon Licious. Now you guys know I am a swag fanatic. I love her, love her so much. And what I did was I gave her Neon Licious little overall thing. She's got that on. A cute little jacket that I got online. Um, it's something that I purchased in, uh, you know, it was like on eBay or something like that for dolls. And of course, I love her little knee socks. So I kept those on and I gave her some boots. And these boots are some boots that I got and they're like monster high or ever after high or something like that so I thought this was a cute little fun look for her now busy BB is definitely one of my favorites I just love her red lipstick I think it looks so gorgeous and that's one of the reasons why I really love her so much but anyway I created this look for her and I think it looks awesome it is she actually has on lady diva skirt the top that she has on belongs to angles and this little top is a switch -a witch top that I turned inside out um, to make it look a little different because this top part really goes in the front but sometimes I switch it around so I like that and then I love these little boots these monster high boots they've got like a little skull on the side the little bow on the top or something and so this is a rocker look that I created for busy BB so I got another rocker for you and this is a downtown BB she is so cute love her little lips in the black and white so I always love putting black and white on her. She's got on one of my Snapstar dolls jackets. It belongs to Yuki, so she has that on. I gave her a little silver accessories, and then she's got a little black skirt. And actually, it's a switch -a witch skirt, and normally you can do it like a half black, half white in the front. So I just put it to the side so that it looked like an entirely black skirt, but it's still kind of cute. And these boots, love these little uh, peep toe, little boots, the little daggers for heels in the back. So those are adorable. And so this is a downtown BB's look. So Lady Diva, I love her hair. I like the color of it, it's so pretty. And I kept her hair in these little chun -Li, like buns that I created. I gave her this little sparkly like necklace that I made um, from something that I got at a craft store. So I made this little necklace and I think this little top that she has on is so cute. I love how the sleeve, it kind of, um, you kind of peek through and you can see her arm underneath it's got little chains right there so that is cute and so she actually has on one of my boxy girl skirts which is really short but still quite cute and then these boots guys oh I just love these boots again I got these boots um, online in a lot of doll clothes that I ordered it was like something like 20 different pairs of shoes or something like that different boots and stuff and so I got that I think they're monster high as well or ever after high I, I can it's hard to tell sometimes which is which but um, definitely these are cute and I think this is a wonderful look that we have for Lady Diva so Lady Diva back to back Lady Divas guys and this is another Lady Diva her hair is in the traditional style that it comes in with a little high pony and the long hair. I made this little outfit from a knit glove and it fits her like a glove. I think that is so cute. And these little boots, I love the little peep toe and look at the little pop of gold buckles. And that's the reason why I thought the gold belt went great with this. But I think this is an awesome look for Lady Diva. So Royal B, she has on a little top. This is like a Barbie top that I had to kind of do some adjustments to to make it fit. Candylicious little collar that she has on and Candylicious little skirt. 
And these little shoes, again, some shoes that I got online and the socks I did get um, with a little doll set um, that for some reason, I can never remember the name of the doll set. But anyway, I love these little kind of sheer socks and I use them a lot in some of my outfits. So I've got that with her. Then the other thing that I did for this little outfit, I actually did some bling action on these little glasses. These are just the regular um, glasses, LOL surprise OMG glasses, and I blinged them out for her. I thought it went great with her outfit. And so guys, this is the look that I created for Royal Beast. Speedster looks a little sassy, guys. She looks very sassy. She has on Miss Independence earrings, and this little top is a boxy girl top. The this little dress part that she has on is actually that little boussier dress top or whatever you call it uh, that belongs to alt girl and then this little top right here i think it's a monster high little shrug type top so i think that's cute and then she's got her little cauldron right there with <laughs> gold and black i thought that went cute i love these little shoes they're some of my favorite shoes and i just think they look awesome on her so guys this is speedster i gave miss independent a totally different look guys and I love this little dress that she has on. I think it might be a Barbie dress. I did buy it online, so I'm not sure exactly what this dress was, you know, who it originally was supposed to be for, but I thought it was cute, and I love the little kitties that are on there, and then I gave her these little plain black pumps to kind of just set the outfit off, but I love this little kitty cat purse, and I thought that it went cute, 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 cute. So that is the look that we have for Miss Independent. Okay, so here's another look that I created for Swag, guys. I love her, love her, love her. This is a little jacket that I turned upside down so that I could give it a different, like, collared look. I gave her a little bling right there, right over this Royal Bee shirt um, because I use it so much. And then I gave her the little knee socks and these Monster High boots because they are so cute. They are, look, look at those. They are just fantastic. I'm an Atlanta Falcon fan. So I really like this outfit a lot. Red and black all day, baby. So I just love that. So that is swag. This, of course, is Snowlicious, guys, and she looks amazing. I love this little bling that I put on her little top. The top that she has on actually belongs to Lady Diva. And um, I just wanted to give it kind of a little, you know, give it a little more flair. So I did that. And then this little skirt that she has on this little feathery, feathery skirt. I actually created it from some trim, some feather trim that I purchased at the craft store. They had it in black and they also had it in white. So I'll probably be creating something in white. And also I didn't use all of it, just a little. So I have more that I can use to create other things. So guys, this is Snowlicious. Okay, last but not least guys, I've got angles. And I put eyelashes on angles. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll know that sometimes I put eyelashes on my dolls. And someone asked me, actually, I did this probably a few days ago. So it's kind of moving just a little bit. But anyway, uh, this one, I actually just took the regular lashes that came in the pack. I took it off and I put it on my doll and that's it. But you can actually use like clear glue as well. The same glue that anyone else would use if they were putting on false eyelashes. You can do that as well. And I've done that in the past and someone asked me to do it tutorial on it so in the future I will do a video so that I can actually show you guys how that's done but anyway I've got eyelashes on her and that gives her a little different look and this little dress that she has on is one of the Barbie Crayola dresses in my last video I talked about how you can actually color on the dress and create you know different looks and stuff so this is the little top it's really more like a top but i made it like a mini dress for her and then she's got these red shoes which are the bees knees guys i just love these little red shoes this is the fantastic awesome awesome look that we have for angle so this look with lady diva was my favorite you guys let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite it was my favorite because i just made it from like a uh, <laughs> some um uh, knit gloves that I got like at Michael's or something it was on sale I can't remember maybe it wasn't Michael's but um oh it was Joanne's fabric that's where I got it I got it at Joanne's fab Joanne fabric and they were 97 cents for a pair of gloves I got like six pairs and I plan to make tons and tons of things for my 
OMG dolls in the future and that was a cool little way to make some pants without doing much sewing so it was really really easy for me so you guys let me know which one was your favorite in the comments below but that's all we had today from instant ride play but before we go I just wanted to say even if you have a hard day we hope you find some time to play and we'll see you next time on instant ride play I can't stop thinking about you Hope you never ever leave from my side I can't stop thinking about you Hope you never ever leave You kill the lies, we come to life I see the fire in your eyes I can't stop thinking about you Hope you never ever leave